Hey folks, welcome back to Let's Play Grand Theft Auto San Andreas on the series JG. Last section was reasonably successful for us. Um, we knocked out uh, Caesar Valapondo, I think his name is pronounced. Uh, we knocked out a mission for Caesar. And uh, it was a street race. Those are often my least favorite missions to have to do in Grand Theft Auto, and it's not my favorite. Um, thing to try and do in a Grand Theft Auto game. But we got it done, and the train emission that you do for Big Smoke is... My understanding of, like, the GTA community, those are... That's kind of the most notorious mission of the first chunk of the game. So we should be good to go for the, in the story for a while without doing anything super annoying. We got another mission of some kind for OG Loke. Whatever it is, it's not something... Oh, I think I remember what it was, vaguely. Yeah, none of the OG low missions that are to come should be crazy hard. There's one that involves uh, you're driving a car and, and it can't take any kind of damage uh, or you f can fail, and it's a time limit. That one might be a little tricky. As a, The crash mission There's another mission for crash, or I think it's a more of a run and gun. I don't remember the last mission for Big Smoke. Or maybe I do, yeah. There will come a point where we reach the section of the story. It's coming, eventually. We'll be all the way over in San Fierro, and the story will be based on my memories from a decade ago rather than uh, months or weeks ago. So look forward to that. But yeah, let's go ahead and um, finish the missions that are here in... Because uh, the story is sort of gradually pushing us into western Los Santos here with OG Loke and Crash. But let's, uh... What time of day is it? It is too early to go for a date. Because I would like to see the driving date once on camera. So let's go see what we can do for our old pal, Smoke. I don't particularly want to use our low rider, so let's just, uh... Yeah, they don't like us being in this part of town. Um, I think it might be... As I'm thinking about it, I know they don't mind us being around in Los Santos. We don't have them come up to us and threaten us. At least I don't recall that happening. Maybe they're always hostile towards you being in this part of town. Oh, you know what? There's something else I could do on camera. If I get the right kind of car. Press R3 to... Oh, I better get away from the cops first. Oh, it's a Green River. This is a likely copyright strike. I don't think we've heard this one on camera yet. I, uh, I really like CCR and their music. Um, but it is owned by, uh, yeah, like John Fogarty and uh, whoever actually owns the rights to the music, not friends. But yeah, the, this is something I don't think I knew about playing the game on original hardware. I don't think I noticed this is a thing. The cops just... Cops have just decided to blow up a taxi cab that has phased through the streets. But this game has pimpin' missions, so maybe what we'll do is we'll just do some pimpin' missions. Pimpin' missions. This is another thing I found out about and did off screen, so we've got the maximum pimpin' missions benefits. But we might as well just uh, do them for fun. There's a girl nearby. Go and pick her up. This is just a, a way that I can show you what pimpin' missions are, because I didn't even know they were a part of the uh, original game. Oh, shoot. She's at the airport, eh? So the way I'm going actually won't help me get there efficiently. Pimp missions more than anything else. There are... You go from a time limit ver portion of the mission to a... There is no time limit portion of the mission. The main issue with the pimpin' missions then tends to be... This is just going to be kind of a... It's kind of a pain in the butt to get to the airport. Um, change my mind. Sorry. Your home is your castle. 
And like most castles, there's always but uh, the big issue with the pimpin missions and what would stop you from reaching the maximum pimpin level um, in one go, I think pimpin missions are, can be cumulative. Because basically, you have to reach a certain pimpin level. Like, you do these missions that involves picking up girls and taking them to John's. And what will cause you to. Certain things will cause you to game over, but the main thing is. Uh, as you go along, uh, you eventually may just do enough damage to your Broadway that it blows up or that you need to bail and get a new one. And if you get out of the car for too long, it's a, a failed mission. Basically. Call today for your free home demonstration. But uh, doing the pimpin missions, actually missions, missions. I might already be at maximum pimpin level on this slot. Probably am actually. Achievements. Fire extinguished paramedic mission. Same name as package delivered. Photographs taken. Eagle Resprays, Cadus, it's my favorite radio station. I like playback FM apparently at this point. Killed over a thousand enemy. Uh... So, oh, yeah, biggest gang, Grocery Family. Second biggest game, Ballas, Zero, then Los Santos Fagos, Zeros, because the blue. Uh... The blue gang is not tracked. And Pimpin Skill, I don't think, is on here. It's tracked when you're on these missions, and I think I've maxed it out. But if you get the highest Pimpin level, then girls will pay you to go... Uh, hookers will pay you. You take, you go pick up a hooker, as we've done in previous GTA games, and have sex with them, and they will give you money. And it's not a lot of money, and it's not really worth doing for that. It's more like just kind of a cute, fun thing that you can do in-game if you're into it. That gives you, uh, you, you earn money as you do these missions. Take your girl downtown now, while listening to Freebird. Okay, so I gotta get on this main highway to get this done, really. Nice wheels, keep me safe, and you'll get a percentage. Is that how it works? The girl decides whether or not the pimp gets paid? I didn't think that's how it worked. Anyway, we're gonna wanna avoid hitting the cop while driving around performing an illegal activity that isn't immediately obvious is illegal to the cop looking at you. It's a nice song to be listening to while driving along with a girl about whom you have feelings. And that feeling being, bitch better have my money. Okay, now... How do I want to get off of this? Going along this way might be the way. Wow! That was really not my fault. I mean, I stopped rather suddenly, but yeah. That's the thing in this, like, exchange, like, these uh, highway off ramps and whatnot in this game really don't work right. Because there's no. Cars don't drive around in specific lanes going going a specific way. They just kind of slam right into you at full speed. So here's a guy who needs a little action. 
I'll let you know when I'm done. And now we gotta go pick up another girl. And our we we have unlimited time to pick up this girl. But once you've been a once you've picked up a girl, you gotta hurry up and get her to her. Uh, oh, what's going on here? Apparently she finished really quickly. I thought we were gonna go pick up another girl, but I believe something happened in the game. We got confused. Normally you would uh, not get the same girl twice in a row. Essentially, you are in this game. You are uh, going around the city pimping two girls and you alternate between you pick one up and take them to a client and then while they are servicing that client you pick up the other one it, you're basically just always alternating between two girls but I think in that case there's something kind of went a little funky with uh, the timing or the positioning of something and there might be a thing where it's not worth trying to find a way to cheat in this game because it's not a, this this particular game's rewards are not significant enough and it's not important enough to win for people to have developed like cheats. I'm talking over Freebird, it's a great song, but you've heard it and you can go hear it without my commentary over it if you want. But yeah, this game isn't really important enough to develop cheats for. But yeah, there probably are things like, you know, uh, yeah, if you you time it just right with when you uh Accelerate for like two seconds, and then immediately stop while the computer or the game is thinking about where to place a pickup for you, and then you will trigger so that you get the same girl again, and you don't have to move or whatever. But considering that you only have a time limit on one of the two alternating tasks you have to do, again, you don't really ever run out of time here. You just occasionally get enough just random damage to the car that's wrecked. Unless, uh... Oh, you know what happened? They look exactly the same, but it is two different girls. And it's just that the girl who needed to be picked up happened to be at the same spawn point as the customer for the other girl. So I have two girls who are the same character model that I'm now alternating between pimping. Alright, so you know what? This mission's probably just going to be pimping missions. Or this video, rather. It'll probably just be pimping missions. 30 minutes of pimping. Pimping ain't, pimping ain't, easy, y'all. Pimping ain't, pimping ain't, easy, y'all. You know it's hard out there for a pimp. I love that we got this uh, African-American pimp. He appears to be pimping two African-American hoes. He's driving around in uh, the Los Angeles ghetto. And of course, he's listening to Leonard Skinner. I mean, what else would he be listening to? <laughs> it's not really a song that ties in well with pimping. It's about a guy who's leaving his girlfriend and... He knows it's going to break her heart, but it's just who he is. He's a free bird. He can't settle down with one woman. It doesn't really what you're worried about if you're hanging out with prostitutes, I guess. They're probably not all that bothered about you not uh, being faithful to them as the one, the one person you'll spend your life with. certainly is the food of anonymous sex in hotel swimming pools. Oh, okay. So this next this next person has got like a sacrilege fetish here. We or they might be a uh, a member of the clergy. Either way, we are now going to uh, go drop off a girl who is going to see three hundred bucks. So this this multiplies. You get more as we uh, do more missions in a row. But we are uh, we are going to take a uh, hoe. To service a uh, client up in uh, the, at the church. Now, if you're doing this for money and not just because you want maximum pimping level, I heard, I, you know, I read in the rumors online. Apparently, some of the mechanics in this game are still not that well understood. Like people were saying, "Oh, your sex appeal 
which is important in the date is as part of like dating girls in this game. Your sex appeal is really driven by what car you most recently drove. Uh, I guess it's somewhat affected by your muscle and fat levels, although some of the girls have different tastes that you can date. Um, but there was, like, there were rumors in there like, oh, uh, it's higher if you've picked up all the oysters. That could be true because I haven't picked up the oysters. Another one was, the more sex you have with girls, the more, the higher your appeal is. So, like, sleeping with prostitutes will give you a higher sex appeal. That seems to be bullshit. Not like I'd spent hours trying different things with Grand Theft Auto 3 prostitutes. <laughs> That didn't come out quite the way I intended. It's not like I grinded for prostitute pickups to see what it would do, but I did this full mission, and then, but it, like, there was a while where every time I saw a prostitute, almost every time, I would stop and, um, you know, frequent them because I made money rather than losing it, and I was trying to see if that would, like, inch my sex appeal meter up and make it easier to... I was having trouble with the second girlfriend I came across, the one at the ammunition. She kept, like, I specifically gained weight so I could date her, but unless I was driving a really good car, I would, uh, I would get rejected at the beginning of the date. Even after establishing her as our girlfriend, she would still not go out on a date if you showed up with a low sex appeal. So I was trying, that doesn't appear to do anything. The pimpin' minigame just seems to be a thing you can do to goof around and have some fun. So we might as well get it done early, because it's not really a, a major thing to be spending a lot of energy on. Yeah, this is the same character model for these two girls. Hey, did I not make any money from that? Yeah, we picked her up and didn't get any money, is, is if I'm understanding correctly. Give me this icon time to appear on the screen. Where the hell am I supposed to send her? Take her? Oh, fuck. That's a long-ass way away. All right, let me get a sip of tea here before we go start this long haul. And check how much time we got left in this video as well. There's not a whole lot of... Like, I've been kind of dancing around. There's not a ton of point to this. So I don't want it to eat up too much of our time. Um, but th there is at least one little wrinkle that can happen in these missions, so I kind of feel like I should show that off, uh, at least once before we wrap up. So what we're going to do is get on the main east-west thing up here, and then when we get to a bur okay, never mind, 200, it's got 600 bucks that time. Here's your share, big boy. But if we can be kind of on this main east, the main east-west, uh, I think I missed, no, I can still get there. I'll kind of be going under, I should have, I should have turned left there earlier. Just trying to get to the main east-west thoroughfare of the northern part of the city, and then go, yeah, this is actually kind of a challenging drive. I wasn't. I was not having many really long trips to take when I did this off screen. So, I get that they're making fun of, like, California West Coast quackery, but I'm not sure how much I appreciate the cancer jokes here. What the? Oh, no! I'm going south. I didn't mean to be going south. Oh, well. Uh, 
I take the next right, I'll be going more or less in the correct direction. No more chemo! Like, yeah, uh, overexposure to sunlight does cause uh, skin cancer. It's just... It's, it's not like if you go outside, you will get cancer. It's a little bit more. But yeah, it's... That, that's what real. What makes KDST special are two things. Me mainly, but also these guys, the records. Yeah, but KDUS is a fun station. White Wedding is a fun song to be listening to while driving around with your one of your two prostitutes that you are pimping. Asshole. Yeah, so how dare you be in my way as I'm going through a red light. Yeah, it's actually fairly, uh, fairly close call here. Usually the driving is fairly relaxed on these missions. And there's the OG Lok burger shot, I believe. So now we got to make our way back. So this one, so this has gotten annoying. Uh... You are driving back and forth. That's that's part of what the missions are. But I'm a little uh, a little annoyed at how far apart our two girls and their clients have sort of gotten here. I can't even tell myself, oh, we're well, we're gradually building up our driving skill because I'll be loading a game later. And this actual driving will make a difference, but. And I'm enjoying this radio station, but it does feel really weird to be using it as the African-American guy in the 90s is pimping two African-American hoes, and I'm listening to, you know, 70s and 80s rock. And pretty much white rock as well. I can't quite bring myself to change the station, but if he's going to be driving around... Grove Street gang member. I guess at any time he's driving around, it'd be in character for CJ to be listening to rap. But, um... It feels a little, uh, weird for him to be listening to old white dude music. At least, you know, CJ would think of this as old white dude music, right? I would imagine. And he's listening to it while driving around pimping. Which, as we've established, ain't easy. That was kind of my fault. And by kind of, I mean entirely. So I just want to get at least far enough that we get one of these. There's not a ton of different complications that can pop up. But there are complications that can pop up. Okay, this is good. They're kind of... They're moving back together now. Um, somebody just screamed. I thought it was a cop. What the hell are you doing? And the machine gun fire broke out. And I don't... Th I never got a wanted level. It was nothing I was doing. Anyway. So, because you don't have any time limit while moving to a girl who has finished with her client, you can, and this is, I think, what I eventually did to max out my pimpin' level in the save that we will eventually be loading that has all the... Everything I did, goofing around, trying to make progress, earn money... Uh, just quality of life for the Let's Play increases. Oh, that's a 
Okay, whatever. Um, I was going somewhere with this. But yeah, uh, everything everything post... Um, how am I going to get to there? Uh, I just got to find an opening. And I probably could have found it easier going the other way, but this will work too. But all my quality of life increase stuff I did was... Uh, post Doberman and getting all the territories. We'll be getting together at one time. I got a cheapskate who won't pay. I need your persuasive technique. Chase down the punk quickly. Uh, okay, well, so this is what I was waiting for to happen. You either have someone who won't pay or you'll have someone who's getting abusive with the hose. And you gotta take them out. Um... And I game over once, and I thought it might have been like a goof, because the next time I, uh, like, I got out of the car and shot a guy who wouldn't pay, and then I got game, like, it ended the missions. And then the next time I played, I, uh, tried to chase them down and beat them up, and you can't just punch them and, and have them still, still be alive, but, um give up, like, you have to beat them to death, so I wasn't sure what difference it made. So just out of an abundance of caution, I would always chase them down and, uh, not use a gun. Where'd he go? Yeah, I'd always not use a gun just to make sure that I didn't mess something up. So now. Pick up the money. But this is the problem. You have, like, no time to get back to your car. And I think it's the, always that they're running away. It's not, not that they're roughing them up. I might have dreamed that one up. But that's it. Like, every couple of missions, you get somebody you have to chase down. And when I shot them, I got game over. But I wasn't sure if that was just a just a glitch mistake or if it, it's supposed to be you can't use guns. Um, but you've only got a few seconds once you get out of your car. And that's usually where you fail. Because if you're patient, um, you don't really need to drive that fast to get to places. Um... And as long as you don't have that I've got a cheapskate who won't pay thing, you have time between dropping girls off. Oh, see, now we got this twice in a row. And I think I just ran over our hooker, but she survived. Yeah, so we got, we got this twice in a row now, the guy who won't pay. Usually it's spaced out a little different. I guess there's just a random percent chance every time that this will happen. But what I was getting at is, uh, yeah, anytime you don't have a time limit, you can go to a pay and spray and get your car repaired. So you shouldn't really ever run out of time unless you just get really unlucky with a particularly unforgiving uh, drive and low amount of time to do the drive. You can really just do this all in one shot. And you make better money as you go along because the multiplier increases. And you're never going to make shit tons of money this way but it's pretty good and one thing I kind of forgot was that you can focus on them and that makes it easier so I was running around doing it without uh, hitting the target button and I remembered even with hand to hand you can target enemies, and what caused me to remember that is, uh, the market region. What caused me to remember that is, uh, failing the stealth kills on the mission we did for OG Loke, robbing, uh, stealing the rhyme book from Mad Dog, as it were. As it were. <laughs> Not a correct use of that. 
Mad Dog is the character's name. I don't remember what is this um is this fog hat? I can't remember what band this is. I think this is fog hat. I really don't know. Oh, I didn't mean to get out. I I got confused. But here's an example of where we've got time. Uh, if I wanted to, I could stop and um and her pimpin' level's most of the way up. I mean, maybe I just... Most of the way up for her. Maybe I just want to actually freaking uh, do a full run of pimpin' missions in this video. Because we're more than halfway through with building our pimpin' uh, level. And I don't believe you're forced to stop when you go all the way to the top. But this game... This game... My horse. This game actually does. Like, there's little, little things I didn't know about. Um... Bicycle courier missions, motorcycle courier missions, and then there's a different courier mission in uh, Los Venturas, I believe. But those only have like four levels each. This pimpin thing, it's only got a couple of levels. It's got little things like, let's give the player something similar to paramedic or pizza boy missions from the last game, but it's not just not quite as long and impossible. Because like vigilante missions in some of those games, are freaking nuts. Gotta get our girl to find wood. I'd imagine we will get... Yeah, see, this is much more like what I remember. The, the, the pickups and drop-offs aren't too bad. They're pretty close together. 1800 bucks. So again, we've got all this money from conquering territories. Um, like, taking out Bala territories and Azteca territories. Or Los Santos Vagras. Where am I getting Azteca from? It might not be part of the game at all. Maybe that's maybe that's the name of uh, Caesar's uh, gang. But, uh... Yeah, that's worth a ton of money, as I found out, compared to all this other stuff. But if you don't want to do all of that, this is a fun way to make a lot of money in this game. Because we're most of the way through. I think I'll just uh, play this through until I either fail or... Uh, I'll just go ahead and finish it. Why not? So when I get to the burger shot, I want to take, uh, I want to go one more and then take a right. But I'm not in any great hurry here. Car hasn't taken a lot of damage. I could hit a, uh, could hit a shop there and repair the car. I don't even feel like it's necessary. On KDST, we're all a little foggy there. in the head. Be careful out there. Well, it's not the end. It's the very beginning of the song. I mean, Just got to watch a cop uh, wipe out on his motorcycle. That was kind of fun. There's a bus that is uh, in like crazy driver mode. I thought that was a cop for a second. It's not. It's like, hey, officer, check out my uh, pimping business. Would you like to partake? Getting up in the swanky zone. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go right, then left. To get on the most direct path. But yeah, you see that the, the uh, monetary rewards really start to increase because of the multiplier. So, like, if you want to make real money off of this, you gotta you got to commit to getting deep into the pimping missions. But you need to get a good run going without being interrupted. But uh, they're not that difficult. It can be kind of fun if you're, for some reason, watching me play this game while also doing your own playthrough. Yeah. Do yourself a favor. 
do something. Chauffeur popped right out of there, ready to fight. Up oh, this punk is getting rough. He thinks he's giving me crabs. Okay, so it is. Uh, so it is possible for them to. I didn't make it up. They do sometimes rough up your girl. So I've got two, two minutes, 50 seconds before failing the mission. Now, see, sometimes there's a reason. It's like, oh, this guy's not going to pay. He's running away. you got to get him. Well, it says that, and you'd think that would create a time limit. But in fact, you don't really have a time limit because, uh, well, not till you get there. It's like he's running away. Get here quick. But the guy actually stands there with your uh, hoe until you run away Jesus, until you get to them mother? but this one on the other hand it does make sense there might be a time limit it's like this guy's going to cut her up or something oh yeah he's actually fighting her I want to see sangre home what are you are you stupid You ready? Hey, you know you're I think on that one, I might have accidentally hit the hooker too many times, but I hit her there at least once. She kept getting in the way. My uh, grocery guys should be able to help with this endeavor, right? She's a little roughed up. You would think I would give her the rest of the day off, but nope. That ain't how CJ rolls. Crap, we're going all the way almost to fucking Grove Street. This is this is bad. This is a really long drive. Alright, well, I guess if I get all the way to where the train tracks are, and then I'll come down near the train tracks. Just trying to give myself a little I mean they're giving me enough time, it's just like ugh. But the money I'm making is is pretty worth it for this. Because uh, I was at 80 something and now I'm uh, 94k. And if you think like, oh, that's like that's nothing. You've got like 84 and now you're getting thousands of, at a time, and you you've got nothing to spend this money on. That is not true. We're gonna ha like if you want all the property, there will be more property to come. If you actually want to own all the property, you need to make quite a bit of extra money on this game. Now, eventually, story missions will give us money. Very few of them give us money at this point, but... By and large, if you just play straight through the story... You'll have enough money to get yourself some Whoppets periodically, but that's about it. Uh, the story will give you enough property, like a save point in each major city at least and not a whole lot else. If you want all the extra stuff, you gotta do a little work. So I don't actually want to drive on the railroad, because that's a good way to get yourself hit. I just figured this would be a landmark that would tell me where to start heading south. Now I'm actually driving on the railroad, which I just said I wasn't going to do. That would be one way for my pimp missions to end if I just got hit by a train. Man, nobody wants to pay for their uh, their sex. What's going on in this city? What what's going on in this city? Why doesn't anyone want to pay for sex? Alright, let's just go 
straight this way for a long ass time. I tried to avoid hitting any of you guys, but you were not moving as I cut through this back alley. And that was the same back alley, I think, where we were constantly sneaking through to get to Big Smoke's place and having guys not uh, really do anything to try to survive when they saw me coming. That's the thing about the gang members, man. Some of these, some of these NPCs, particularly including cops, will jump into your path if they weren't in your path. But those Grove Street guys, maybe it's because they have a lot of faith and trust in CJ with a super high respect level. They'll just stand there and assume I'm going to not kill them. What a foolish assumption to make. Classic rock, the way it was meant to be enjoyed. On dust. Hold on a second. I've gone over at this point, I think. I, I was like, ah, oh, let's just do one whole video of pimping. It's going to take me more than 30 minutes. Yeah, all right. When we come back next time, we'll finish up pimping. See you then.